Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about something that, as an optician, you never, ever do. So what is it that we never ever do as a new optician or anyone in customer service or retail? Well, we never ever, ever promise anything. Nothing will come back on you and bite you on the bum worse than doing that. Once upon a time, Laramie K had a relatively new customer. That customer called asking about a job that they had submitted. The customer was told that the job was not ready yet. The customer became agitated and asked to speak to the manager. He didn't get through to the manager. Instead, he got transferred to the head of customer service, Janet Benjamin, who also happens to be the president of the company. The customer vented on Janet and kept insisting that he was promised that the job would be ready when he asked. After hearing the customer out, Janet explained to him that this may be his understanding of it, but she was quite sure that he wasn't promised anything and that he was no longer a customer of Laramie K. How could she be so sure that no one promised him anything? Well, because every customer service representative at Laramie K has been there for years. And Janet knew with 100% confidence that not one of them would ever make the mistake of promising anything. Janet trusts the people that work for her and Janet stands behind the people that work for her. She was not willing to tolerate an individual casting aspersions about them. And that is a true story. One of the best ways of getting out of making a promise when a customer is really pushing you, promise me that those will be in Wednesday. Can you promise me that you'll have those by Saturday? I have been at this way too long to promise anything. Just say it, right? I have been at this way too long. I know better. Things happen. I'm not going to promise anything. You might want to preface it. Mama didn't raise no fools. I have been at this way too long. I'm not going to promise anything. There are some things you can say to set their mind at ease. Look, it's really still quite early in the day. The lab we use is in the Midwest. They've barely begun their day. I'm going to let Carol finish up the paperwork on this job and I'll get this called in. Right? You're doing everything you can. You're not promising anything. I'm going to call this job in. Usually we enter these on the computer. I'm going to put a rush on it with the lab. And you know, that usually does help move things along by about a day. Right? No promises there. I know you're in a hurry for this. Um, sit tight and let me check with the lab and make sure that they have everything they need to get this job going. Sit tight. Let me call the lens company and make sure these are in stock. Maybe you're doing a stock 174 single vision. Make sure. Put their mind at ease. Last, I'm in tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Heck, I'm here every day at 8 o'clock. As soon as I get in, I will check on that job and I will let you know as soon as they arrive and have been checked in. Lots of places use a red tray system. Any job that is in a red tray is either a rush or there is some issue with it that people need to be keeping a close eye on. The other 
I'm in tomorrow at eight, um, you know, every day at eight. Uh, I will keep your tray on my desk next to my computer. So it's always on my mind and I'll let you know the minute they get here and get checked in. Lots of ways you can word this, say things, put your customer's mind at ease without ever making a promise because you just never do that. Why do we, why do opticians never promise anything? Well, the sad truth is because in the big picture, we actually control almost nothing in the process. Tough love, guys, it's the truth. We have absolutely no control whatsoever over the weather. If the plane leaves, the package leaves the lab and it ends up in Memphis and Memphis has an ice storm and the FedEx planes can't fly, you're not gonna get your package. You have no control over that. It's 2022 in 2020, UPS and FedEx tossed out all their time sensitive stuff. And you can say, but I paid for overnight shipping. And they laugh and they hang up the phone on you. That got tossed. You have no control over UPS and FedEx anymore. There was a time, but I'm afraid that's past. The optician, what do we control in the big process of getting a job from start to finish? Well, you make sure that the job goes out, computer, phone, package up the frame, mail it, whatever it might be. And you check it in when it comes back from the lab. Verification. That's it. We like to think in our heads, we pretend that we somehow have control over the lab that we work with. But in reality, we don't. Watch the video, that one. I'll leave that up there for a second. Super crazy important one. I mean, there are literally, if you watch that, like a thousand and one things that can go wrong with the lens through the lab process. Usually everything works out just fine. There's a lot of room for error there. We don't control that. In the same exact way, the lab has no control over their own lab supply chain. If they ordered a lens to complete your job and it has an ice storm in Memphis, well, that's where it is. It's not at the lab being made for you. If FedEx just doesn't have the package the next day, well, they can't make those glasses. So why do opticians never promise anything? Well, it would be pretty darn silly to make promises about something over which you have almost no control. And never forget, you are the point of contact. Okay, you're the one who's gonna get the argument, the anger, the frustration, the bad mouthing, the bad Yelp review, because you made the mistake of making a promise over a process that you have very little control in. So don't do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please do give us a like. If you're watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And do make me a promise that every lens in your optical life comes from Laramie K. I'll see you again next week.